boom welcome back to the channel i'm hank strange this is stranger palooza we're here at sunshine state rv hey, what's up nick schmidt is here with me and today we are going to talk about upgrading your coachman class b van right yeah, yeah. upgrading the batteries coachman uses lithionics coachman uses lithionics great system a phenomenal system. Yes. I mean, we sell more, you know, it, almost everyone that I order from the Coachman class is an LI3 is kind of how they, yes. that's what they call it. I recommend it. I don't have it. I recommend it. We have a video that by the time this goes up, that video will be out. You guys could go watch that video. But yeah. if, if you have these and you boondock a lot, especially in warm climates like here in Florida, and you want to upgrade your battery, the battery comes with what, like around 630? Yeah, 630 amp mm -hmm. hours is what the LI3 package comes with. Right. And we get questions all the time about, hey, how many amp hours is enough? I need more amp hours. Yes, I need always more, more capacity. I want right. more. If someone says they're going to give you this and you always ask for more, right. I, I mean, you know, they yes. all must be from New York. They just want more. <laughs> you know, what, yes, what they're given is not not enough right and so if people are given 630 amp hours they want a thousand yeah if they're given 200 they want 400 right so people ask us all the time how i want more capacity right more capacity so you guys can actually do an upgrade for folks that you could double the capacity so in, in this coachman nova mm -hmm. in the coachman beyond and the galleria right. mm -hmm. we have found ways to double the capacity of the lithium system all right and we are going to get all into that right now Guys, I want to remind you that we have these Vanasaur t-shirts and a new one is out. This is Campfire by Moonlight. New Vanasaur t-shirt, that's how you pronounce that if you're a fan of Class B camper vans, whether it's Sprinter, Promaster, or the Transit. You can get these t-shirts, show your love for that, and support Stranger Palooza. And we don't have any like logos or anything like that on it. Plus, you can get Stranger Palooza t-shirts. If you look down here in YouTube, there's a store down there. You can check out the store, get this and other designs. And from Lola and myself, who did all the work designing this, uh, thanks very much. See you on the next one. All right, Nick, and you know what? There's some big babies out there that complain that I keep interrupting you. <laughs> And they blame it all on me, even though I know you always start the trouble, but whatever. If you didn't interrupt me, this would be a monologue. Who the heck wants to hear that? Yeah, but I'm going to let you run with it here because <laughs> it's some good info. We want to yes. get it to people fast, yes. right? Yes. So run with it, man. Do it. Yeah, so, so you know, I'm at Sunshine State RVs. We're in Gainesville, Florida. All we sell are Class B RVs, right? So from all over the country, we get phone calls, emails, texts, smoke signals, little doves come flying in, and they ask us how... I want lithium, what does lithium do for me? What does it mean? I want solar, what does solar mean? And they're like, can I run my whole RV on solar? Can I run it all on lithium? And people just, their mind is blown, Hank, by the idea of running their RV on batteries. Okay. But thanks to Tesla and other electric vehicles and cars, people are coming around to the idea of the battery operated things. Mm -hmm. And so the whole RV is ran and can be ran on these lithium batteries. So Coachman is one of the top brands when it comes to Class B. They're one of the top when it comes to lithium. We sell a ton of them. We are Coachman's number one dealer in the whole United States of America. Mm -hmm. Hank, you bought your Coachman from us, didn't you? Exactly, and there's a Beyond over there, these uh -huh. are Novas, these and are I Novas. think there's a Galleria somewhere around here. Right, directly behind you. Yep. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Right. Same thing we sell American Coach and Winnebago and all this, okay. but people come from all over the country to buy these Coachman products from us and they absolutely love them, right? Absolutely love them. They're phenomenal products, but everybody wants more. They hear about a V8, they want a V12. They hear about 400 horsepower, they want 600 horsepower. They hear about 630 amp hours. That's what Coachman is offering in their lithium system. And they say, Nick, I want more lithium. So I had a guy um call me this last week he currently has a winnebago view mm -hmm. and he has a thousand amp hours worth of lithium batteries in that <laughs> winnebago view that he modified he upgraded himself okay and so he asked me he said nick i want a nova i really want a white nova so white just came out hank okay is this the first one you've seen um you know what they look good these are the first ones i've seen I, in the you know this is they've so, all been silver right so new chassis but the uh, older front end on yep, these yep, right? not the new so front far. end uh -huh. but all new upgrade nine speed transmission push yeah. button start all that yeah we can show you guys that this yeah yeah we'll jump in there is about we'll but basically you got the the new front end here 
on these, and I'll run that in for you guys. Okay, but so he's he's getting so, one, this is his or this is his. Mm -hmm. This is one he is buying. He said, Nick, I want double the lithium power. I want at least a thousand amp hours. I'm like, whoa, dude, we we haven't done a thousand amp hours before. We've mm -hmm. upgraded. We upgraded yours. Yeah. We've upgraded other ones. Couple hundred here, couple hundred there, and so we start diving into it, and it turns out it's not as hard as what we originally thought it was going to be to add. It comes with 630 to add another 630 amp hour lithium battery in here. Okay, is that because it's uh, what's in here specifically because, is lithionics? Yes. Okay. Yes. So lithionics um, has has made it to where we can do it. We have coordinated with them. We have we have their whole um, specs on on how to do it. The way they they walked us through the first one, and now we've actually done another one since then. But you know they with through their guidance and through mm -hmm. their help we have been able to double the lithium power on this Coachman Nova, okay. taking it from 630 to 1260 amp hours nice. of lithium batteries. Can we take a look at it? We now, can. So, and this, so this is still would be under warranty for this person buying this, This right? would be under warranty from Coachman, okay. and it would be under warranty from Lithionic. So, right, and so, somewhere at the end, we'll let you guys know what the tab is on that. But So, <laughs> funny story, uh -huh. Hank has been asking me, you've been asking me how much this costs. Right. And what have I told you? Uh, I'll let you know. <laughs> Live on the yeah, video. He wants to see my reaction. I want to see his reaction. And that's the big question, is it worth it? Right. Is it is it worth the money? Is lithium worth it? So just to start with, lithium is about a $20,000 ad on a coaching product. Right. Just one lithium battery. Yeah. So then you go so to here you've got two, two. So we can show so you. So this that. is the one that comes with it. Right. This is where it goes. And we have finagled and Another moved things around space. to put a second one there. So one yeah. of these is 630 and the second one is 630 amp hours of lithium batteries and i'll run in for you guys in the other van that's right in front of us is a it's basically a mirror version of this and so it's just this one's not here right, right. so what you are losing is a little bit of storage so you can mm -hmm. store your hose there mm -hmm. um and you just scoot it over you lose a little bit of storage mm -hmm. but with having the capacity that you mm -hmm. get if you if you need it. so hank you know you asked me a good question who needs 1260 amp hours of lithium batteries right you asked me that question yes. and and the answer that i have found are people that want to camp somewhere for a week or two with no power mm -hmm. they don't want to have to leave and go drive around and plug it in they want to stay where they're at and they just want to be able to use their lithium they can turn their engine on to charge it up some but they're going to stay put and they're going to utilize their lithium power yeah so very very cool system very cool setup yeah. that coachman does there's nothing wrong with it 630 amp hours is a lot it's pretty good a lot of amp hours and yeah. you know the thing that i typically recommend people to do is try it the way it comes and mm -hmm. if it's not enough then we'll go to more some people just want more right off the bat yes so here i'm going to interject here just for this is for you guys benefit um so yes when you get your when you get it as it is it comes at 630 i think that's a lot in the industry that's a lot it is right uh lots of people are doing at the most two three hundred amp hours yep yep there's a whole translation of watts Watt hours whatever, yeah. amp hours yeah. and i'm not i'm gonna simplify it for that so doubling this did you guys at change anything else is the inverter upgraded same inverter so, how did that all so work? it's the same inverter okay we, we had to do some rewiring mm -hmm. we had to do some some um different settings on the mm -hmm. solar charge controller on the inverter on the bmf or okay. on on everything here so everything's yeah. built in i like the fact that it's inside the coach right i think there's a lot of value there yes um, i also think lithionics is a very responsive company mm -hmm. and so any help we needed any conversations we needed they were right. great about helping they had the battery here within a few days and they did it and this is something this is the 20c model so the c stands for couch mm -hmm. i think and there's a couch in the back Mm -hmm. um, and there's a bathroom. Room. We'll walk through real quick. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a guys. quick walk through. So, so did you upgrade the um, the solar panels, or is the solar panels the same? Solar panels are the same. Solar panels. We, uh, okay. we had to upgrade the charge controller settings. Okay, and then obviously this charges either you plug it in, plug it in, or you drive, or you're driving. Right, and then you get solar. a trickle charge off the solar. It's Correct. not a lot. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Okay. I think what is it like maybe two hundred watts or something, something depending like on what's up there. Okay. Correct. Correct. Very cool. So people can always increase that. You're really going to need, like, to me, about five, six hundred watts 
to really do there's something. There's not a lot of room up there. Yeah, there's not a lot of room. And we have a ladder. We can jump yeah. up there. That's with all these vans. <laughs> all these vans. The yeah. biggest thing is, is, okay. is, is space. Right. So there's not a lot to see here, but, you know, these batteries are really smart. Like I said, we have a video. You guys could check that out, and it fits here in this space. That's about as far as you can go, right? It'll be tough to get anything else in here. I'm just looking around. Yeah, this is the Truma. No real room right here. Two batteries. Yeah. And then there's a little storage here. So we got our, our power hose here. We got right. our spare tire kit. Okay. We got our water hose, and this is our tools. Yeah. I mean, all of this stuff fits in here. Yeah, um, and you could put stuff, if you need extra room, so if we close these doors here, Nick, yeah. we could show folks that they can put stuff here on the back yeah. if they want to for extra storage or maybe something on the roof. I don't know if you want to go up there and show the roof. It might be, someone might appreciate that if we do that here. So, so, uh, so a lot of people put some put storage stuff like on. Like a backpack. Or, yeah or a box that's out here and they hook it right into the tow hitch. Yeah. Um, you can also hook things to the ladder yep. if you want. That's true. But you know, uh, I that little bit of storage to have that much more capacity to a lot of people, they're gonna find a lot of value in that. Yeah. A lot of value. Okay, so are we gonna show up so top? We can. I wanted to show the lithium inside. Yeah, let's go inside. Yeah. You guys have seen the top. It's yeah. what you would normally get. And I you like can check out our other you know, videos. These on are that. things I always saw about the awning style windows. Uh -huh. They got one, two, three of them here. Yep. So very, very, nice. very neat there. Yeah, I like the acrylic windows. So right now, our batteries are off. This is a Firefly system, so we're going to turn them on so we have some lights in here. Yep. Um, this on. is the C model. So this has the large fridge with the freezer. Cool. Love this large fridge and yeah. freezer. If you're boondocking and you want to be off the you road need, a little bit longer, you need so more space. Like right here is the freezer. I can show you guys that. But that and can then, also be a fridge. If you because some people tell me, Nick, I don't need a freezer when I'm camping. You right. can use that as a fridge. You know, it doesn't yeah. have to be a freezer. That's true. Which is really neat. Good, good point. Yeah. Nice, head, nice right. big bathroom. So this is the same size bathroom as you would get in a Galleria or uh, beyond, right? Uh, Very yep. Similar. Yep. yep. Good size. Yeah, that is big. Okay. For a side, for a little the side sink. Bathroom. You know, this is the shower head also. So, very nice. Some people like to brush their teeth in a bathroom and not in a kitchen sink. Yep. So lots of space. So that's why the little baby sink. The little baby sink. <laughs> yes. Uh, just like the spitting sink, I guess. Really cool Truma air conditioner. This is yeah. a brand new AC they started using in the last few months. Um, that's awesome. So, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I mean, very low profile. You know, I'm six foot tall. You can put a hand, yep. good space where before it came down a couple inches lower, mm -hmm. very quiet, um, very low power consumption. It's also a lower profile on the roof. Yes. So it's about two inches lower on the roof as well, yeah. not just inside, but outside also. Yeah. And this um, has dehumidifier mode, which is built cool. in dehumidifier. Yeah. It's cool. This uh, is all your stuff, right? right. Truma, Xantrax, or your charge controller. Nice. What I like about these systems oh. the lithium app has yeah. it tells me that we are good for four days and 14 hours the mm -hmm. way we're sitting right now in order to use the 110 stuff in the coach you got to make sure that the inverter's on mm -hmm. um the inverter takes the 12 volt batteries puts it through the inverter and then powers 110 appliances mm -hmm. so 110 appliances are like the air conditioner the right. microwave so everything so that, else the lights and all that you could do without that those are fridge. all on the 12 volt side okay. mm -hmm. the, all, all the, the air conditioner, the microwave mm -hmm. is 110. So okay. inverters on, we have four days, 14 hours right now mm -hmm. worth of runtime at what we're running right now. Okay. So now we're gonna turn the air conditioner on and we're gonna see how long the AC can last. How many hours? How many hours on 1260 amp hours of batteries? I'm guessing at least, I don't know, I'm gonna say somewhere between 14 and 16. Oh my God. What's your guess? <laughs> Because you don't know either, right? I do not know. <laughs> you got to guess. I think it's to say, I would take the over. You're taking the over. Over 16. Over 16. Okay, go for it. All right, so it's down here. Okay. So let's turn it on. Okay. So climate, let's go to medium. Let's go to cool. And let's have it turn on. And let's see. So immediately turning on, it lowered to two days. Right. But it's going to keep lowering it. It is going to keep lowering. So once the compressor kicks on, it should. I mean, it would be amazing if you could run for two days. That would be a piece of that button. Yeah. Let's see here. We'll give it a little bit. So it says it's two days. Also, which is cool, we can show this while we wait on that to reset. Mm -hmm. This is the, right here, is the lithium 
monitor that's in the coach. Can you see that? Yeah, I can. It's changing. There you okay. go. Okay. So what's cool about this is it shows you your percentage. Mm -hmm. Battery state of charge is 92. Mm -hmm. It also says you have 1162 amp hours worth of batteries. Yeah. So that's pretty neat. That's so awesome. So then as you change that, you can see, let's go through. Um, you can go to percentage probably on there. You can go to percentage. You can also see right now it says two days, two days one hour, 53 minutes. Battery health is 100%. And then back to the 1100. So. I don't know if it's kicked oh, in. Yep, oh, it, it, did it kick? Oh, yep. 12 hours. What did you say? I said like 14 to 16. Well, it's 12 is pretty good. It's 13. Okay, it's about, yeah. But come, go for it. No, it's almost 14. What are you talking about? It is almost 14. Yeah, it's at 13. Yeah, that's pretty so good. So we got, we that's got the AC good. on with the compressor. Yeah. We got every light on. We got the fridge on. We got the microwave on, the mm -hmm. inverter on. And we're at almost 14 hours. 14 hours. So just like this, exactly how we're sitting right now, yeah. with this batteries, with the extra battery, you can run for 13 hours. Now technically, straight. yeah. So technically, it's gonna do longer than that, especially at night. Yeah. And so in the daytime, it's gonna be hot, and it may just stay on all the time. Correct. But at night, it's gonna come on and off, so that will extend it. That right? is correct. Yeah, it's pretty so, good. So it's, pretty it's good. 83 degrees in the coach. Yeah, we'd probably put this coach at 78. I mean, you're a polar bear. What do you sleep at? 72? No, I do. I do 78, man. Anything. Yeah, anything less than that is too cold. So okay, so you put it at 78. Once it drops those five degrees, mm -hmm. then the AC is gonna shut off. Yeah. And then it's just gonna be on. It might have a fan on, but it'll shut off for an hour or yeah. so, half hour. Then once it gets up, it'll turn just like your air conditioner at your house. Yeah. So that 13 hours really will turn to as long as you need. Yeah, that's pretty good. And that's the point of doubling the lithium capacity. Mm -hmm. So this is what's cool, Hank. Yeah. Um, this is the 20 C floor plan. So as you walk okay. back here, yeah. you see you got the power couch, you got the cool lagoon table. This is yeah. the, the cover for the oh, back. I like this. Right yeah. There. there. Yeah. So cool lagoon table. Yes. You guys are still working on this a little bit because I think the owner's picking it up. But because you did some stuff under there. Correct. Correct. Yeah, we're we're you got, not. You got some things you're sorting. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're we're still cleaning it and all that. Yeah. But this is a great floor plan, right? Yeah. This is the floor plan in the Nova that we can do this to. Okay. We, we we have not found a way to upgrade the rear bath model. Okay. Um, with the extra battery, we haven't found the space. Mm -hmm. We have found the space in the 20C. Uh, what else is cool is in the Beyond. Um, I just showed you we can do the upgrade in the 22C Beyond as well. Okay. So, so we can do the upgrade in a Nova 20C. Right. We can do the lithium upgrade in a Beyond 22C and in the Galleria. So we can do it in the 24A which is the bed in the back, the fixed bed with the little desk up front. Okay. We can do it in the 24 FL, which is the same as this, the big power couch and the two seats up front. Okay. So we can do this same upgrade in the Galleria 24A or FL. We can do it in the 22C and in the 20C Nova. Okay, so cool. if someone's so now, watching and yeah. this is really what they want, those are the floor plans of Coachman. That right, we can do. so big question. What does it cost? Hold on a second. I gotta switch back to you. But cost? <laughs> well, no. I want to film your reaction. Oh so boy! Come sit by me right here, oh, Hank. Oh no. Okay. Let's do this. Together. Oh yeah. You want everyone to see what I think about what it costs? <laughs> okay. Cool. I just want to sit next to you. Hank. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. So, all right. So this is the thing. Yeah. The uh, I feel like I have to set like a. Oh. Uh, <laughs> this is getting. Sit in. This is getting scary now. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really this bad? I don't know. Oh, You're going to tell me what okay. your thought is. Okay. Uh -huh. So the lithium system that is in here has a cost, I, I think, an MSRP of $23,000. As to, it is with 630 As it is with 630 And that okay. is the, the whole lithium system. They okay. give you credit for getting rid of the Onan generator, and then they add all the stuff. Yeah. So it's a $23,000 add. -on. And it makes so, sense. Okay. To add the extra... Mm -hmm. 630 amp hours mm -hmm. to to retrofit it to here to do all the braces all the labor mm -hmm. all the work that goes into it the mm -hmm. whole thing to do it all right is fourteen thousand five hundred fourteen to to go up to double yeah that's not bad good oh i don't think that's bad yeah that okay. makes sense. That's ra that's rational. What did you it's think not. It it's was? not. Well, I thought we it might. We should have both wrote our numbers down. And slid them <laughs> no, to each I thought other. it might be doubling it, but I think that if it's not, if it's about, I think about that makes sense, right? Because your battery is going to cost money. 
So and, I, labor, and I don't know. Yeah, and then and you got to do the labor and then test secure, it. Yes. You know all the modifications. Right. So so that's I, pretty good. I think that's good. So, so now you're looking at like from so what was it twenty? So so you're looking at thirty five. Twenty three thousand dollars. So okay. this is the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you didn't know how much it cost. No, I didn't. The, right. I, I I wouldn't tell him a cost. I wouldn't even give him a hand. I wanted yeah. to do this whole thing. Yeah. And I wanted you to find out. Yeah. Good. No. Would I do you it? Know, would you do it? Yes. Yeah, I would do it. It's worth it. Well, I'm in Florida, so I think if you're in yeah. a climate like this and you use your van a lot yep. and you don't plug in, yep. you still can plug this in. Oh yeah. Right? And you obviously you could drive it, but if you boondock drive. a lot like I do, I think that that's worth it. The yeah. extended battery range considering I, all the things you could and do I with it. I think you know people with pets, people that go mm -hmm. hiking, people that that it's just one less thing. When you're camping, you don't have to worry about you it. You have a lot of things yeah. you're worrying about. Can, yeah. I, can I sleep here? Right. Is my black tank full? Is yeah. my gray tank full? I can't increase the size of that. You so, worry about, do I have gas? Mm -hmm. Where am I going? Where am I staying? What's yeah. the weather? The The last thing you want to worry about is, mm -hmm. are my utilities going to work? Yeah, and I think, so here's what's going to happen if you're traveling. You're driving during the day. Typically, that's what I do. Yeah. I drive during the day, and then I rest during the night. If you're driving all day, you're charging back up your batteries, but you're also running AC up front. Yeah. So that's like a byproduct of you driving. So now you know when you pull over at night, which is going to be cooler, yeah. you could run this AC all night, even Without on a even hot night. Hot night. Yep. You could run it all night. If you go to Death Valley hey. or something, you can run it all it's night. It's not only all night, Hank. It's, mm -hmm. You get somewhere at 4 o'clock. And, and you camp mm -hmm. and then you want to go for a hike and mm -hmm. you want to leave your AC yeah. AC running right. so that way yeah. you come back to a cool coach right you leave your you cat in hike, there or you something. come back yeah. then you cook dinner you yeah. don't have your your engine yeah. on again and you yeah. want to leave it you yeah and that's going to use then after so, you cook it, dinner, so it's an electric stove that's going to run that's power run it. if you plug stuff in outside so then yeah the, you listen to music you're yeah. maybe watching a uh, or looking at a tv show yeah you plug in your laptop to charge it up and work like i do that pulls a lot of power you look at it or Yes, I look at it. I'm looking at, TV. Yes. I'm looking at it off TV right now. Yeah. So, so you're doing that. Right. So, so it's not just like you're laying your head down and you turn everything on and then you right. wake up and you're like, oh God, I hope I have AC. Yeah. You want it from like 3 o'clock when you park all yeah. the way till 8 o'clock the next morning. Yeah. And you won't have to worry. That's 15 yeah. hours. That's pretty good. And then you won't have to actually. So I think you guys, does this have a system that will turn it on? Like let's say you have less battery capacity, we'll turn it on overnight. So if you don't have that, you don't have to worry about, oh, I got to get up in the middle of the night and, and turn turn my no, engine on. When you drive not. the next day, you recharge it. Correct. Yeah. Correct. When you drive the next day, it recharges. You turn the engine on or you right. plug in, it recharges. And there's a um, second alternator in here, right? There so is. it charges yep. up yep. fast. Yeah, that's part okay. of the lithium system originally. Yeah. No, I think that's cool, man. I get Let's it. It's more, it's more money. It's more money. Oh, yeah. I'm going to switch it around because definitely holding oh, this. this up to myself is not as easy. We're at 12 hours. Yeah, so that's that's pretty good. I think that's good. We're at ninety one percent. Yeah. I think you can spend and money and on your van in worse ways, my friend. So, <laughs> so it's also like an insurance policy, you know. I mean, yeah. it just ensures that that whenever you're anywhere, you know you're going to have power for your fridge, power mm -hmm. for your CPAP machine, power for your laptop, power for yeah. your air conditioner, your hot water, all that. So, yeah. that's the upgrade we do on here. We can do this on the Nova, we can do it on the Beyond, and we can do it on a Galleria. Um, okay. We are in the middle of upgrading a leisure travel right now for somebody. Okay. Uh, we just upgraded, I mean, we upgraded your Beyond. Your yes. Beyond had no lithium and so, we did it. So for people looking at this, um, you could do this for them. Do they have to have bought it from you guys or what's, they, the, what's the details there? They do not have to have bought it. Um, um, you know, some people want to buy it with like this guy's doing. Mm -hmm. Hey Nick, I'm buying it. And upgrading at the same time. No so muss, no fuss. Right. Okay. Same the uh, leisure travel. We had to use leisure travel traded in last week. Yeah. Guy said I want it. I want a thousand amp hour batteries in it. Yeah. And so we're we're uh, doing that as well. Okay. We've had other people use it, buy an RV from us, and say, Hey, I'm gonna use it the way it is. See what I think. And then in six months, I'm gonna reevaluate and I'll add lithium. And they mm -hmm. come back and they've added lithium. Oh, How I long see. did you have yours before you added lithium? Um. <laughs> Uh, I think a month, two months, right. maybe. Yeah. So you knew immediately, I need right. lithium. Yeah. So that's usually what I recommend, Hank, mm -hmm. is that someone use it and see how they're going to use it and then make the modifications. But yeah. the guy buying this van, great guy. He has a Winnebago view. He yeah. knows he wants it. He told me he likes the Mooch Park. Mooch Park, yeah. Mooch Camp. Moondocking, yeah. Mooch Camp. Yeah. 
It's like mooching I off think he made a good move. I think he made lots. a good move. I do so. too. I like the white. I like this floor plan. I like the big fridge. Um, yeah. I like this. I mean, check this out. This is pretty yeah, neat. Little pockets. It's like, yeah, little pockets here. I like this stuff here with those awning yeah. style windows. So now, can I ask you the question? Uh oh. When that will I get? You're, you're when will I the get spot. the brand new awesomeness in the front end? Look at that. On a Nova. So let's say I want a Nova. How I know cool is this? Not out yet. So the Novas. We've got uh, a little bit of a weight, right? Yeah, so the Novas are, are being built with the new chassis right now. It has a nine-speed transmission, the push-button mm -hmm. start, the all the safety features, the big nav screen, all the heated seats, all that stuff. That's what they're being built with right now. Okay. Um, and then I would say, you know, in a few months from now, they're going to have the whole... Oh, so we should show this. So up front, I think we promised people we would show them that. Yeah. Here. So this has everything up it front does. that the chassis should have, right? Yeah, let's, let's just do that, and then we'll end it. For the folks out there, I totally forgot about that. You're right. Yeah. So this is all the stuff. I mean, hey, only only ten people watch this. I mean, all ten yeah. of them can call us and we can tell yeah. them about this stuff. You'd be surprised how many people are watching nowadays, man. It's more than people 10. watch. Yeah. No way. Oh yeah. It's about twenty. I don't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Remind yeah. me later. So check. This is pretty neat. Yeah, that's cool. So this is the 360 camera. Yeah. And then you can see and you can like kind of move stuff everywhere. That's the so front. That's cool. So this the, so the rear view on this is also have has a camera in it. It does. Right so that would be that, that right there. So this is all brand new. Mm -hmm. This is brand new. All this, all these buttons, all these chargers. Yeah. And yeah, then the digital front. dash as well. Yeah. So all of this being digital like yeah. that. You've got all your all of, all of this stuff is yeah, new. That's all new. The key, you know, there's a push button start right oh, here. Push to start. Yep. So there's no, yeah. there's no thing. What does Drake say? Uh, I ain't driving nothing. I gotta stick the keys in. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. So, so this is made for Drake. Yeah. When the absolutely. guys at Coachman were he, making I, this. Yeah. They there you had, go, the camera. They had Drake yeah, camera. on their mind. Yeah, no camera. Camera, no camera. What's that song he sings, Call Me On My Hotline? Call Me On My Hotline. Yeah, is it? No, what is it? No, it's call Me On My Cell Phone. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you need my love. <laughs> yeah, so, so this has a this has all Hotline of that Bling. Hotline Bling. Hotline Bling. <laughs> I know some Drake songs. Yeah, I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> I got kids. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So that yes, is pretty cool. Very cool. So you got a yeah. big nav screen. Yeah. You had a big nav screen. There yeah. it is. And you, so you Apple CarPlay. So you would save some money on this um, in terms of the new front end. If you're if you're waiting for the new front yeah. end, this would be more yeah. affordable, right? So this is more expensive than the last one, obviously. This right. has the new, the whole new thing. But yeah. then it's gonna get more expensive again with, with the new front end. Okay. Which is like the whole the lights. Like you can kind of see it over there. Winnebago mm -hmm. started building on it. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I funny story I had someone call me yesterday and they said you know I really want a uh, Nova but I don't need all this fancy stuff I'd rather save the money oh. and I'd rather put the money in like a lithium upgrade I agree or something else so you yeah. know everybody kind of has what's what's important to them mm -hmm. this guy that called me said I don't want the new front end I want a new RV and I want the lithium upgrade yeah and I so, will get the new front end because I'm a youtuber and you got to get the new is that what you do for your job yeah that's what I do for a living a that's YouTuber here. yeah I'm a I thought you were here because you're my friend. Content creator. Oh my goodness. You know? Yes. Vanasaur Hank Strange. Vanasaur. All right, let's wrap it up. Do you want to go outside? Oh, this and wrap is cool. It up? Check this out. Oh. So that's a charger. A charge? I can never get that actually charge. Yeah, I think that's yeah, what it's made but for. But it does do it. <laughs> they say it does. Don't go by don't go by Nick's phone. I think you have to put it right in the middle. No, in I the middle. Always do. Yeah. And there's no case on yours, right? No. Yeah, it does it. It, it to does do, do it. it. I can never get it to do it. I think you have to go down lower because you have to be right where that charging thing is on your phone. So yeah, don't worry about it. Wow. I think Whatever. you gotta open. So I think something opens here, but uh, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, it's it says there. It does it. Wireless charging. It says. Yeah, it just, does it. Just so. not on Nick's phone. All right. Do you want to? I'll let you wrap this up since I'm not supposed to be even talking. <laughs> Well, you're you the know. you're the self-proclaimed YouTuber. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Show me what you got. You want me to imitate you? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Oh boy. Well, first let me give my spiel. Oh boy. We are in Gainesville, Florida. We're the number one class B dealer in Florida, number three in the whole United States. Hank hates it when I say that, um, mm -hmm. but we 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 deliver for free anywhere in the country. We we sell these things to every state all the time. We deliver them for you. And if you don't want it to have it delivered, you want to come here, we fly you here, put you up for a couple nights, mm -hmm. teach you how to use it, go through the whole coach. Yep. But um, that's my spiel. 
and, and that's what I'm allowed to say at the end. Hank gives me yeah. my uh, my, so my then uh, the other ten YouTube, seconds. So what's the YouTube stuff you got to do? My uh, ten seconds of fame. Yeah. And uh, thanks for watching the channel today. This was Hank Strange at Stranger Palooza. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, the buy my T-shirt button, buy a sticker button, all the buttons that are everywhere on here. Just keep hitting buttons everywhere and subscribe and ding the bell and get on the noti and this and that and watch the channel. Thank you for watching. Hit the buttons everywhere. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Nicely done.